Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Sergeant Rax Gaming. Salute. And we're going to hop on the debacle, which is the great G4 meltdown that Frost had the other day, the past few days. A few days ago. Um, this is not scripted as always, so expect. Expect great things, but also expect, um. Also expect that things are going to be said that's unscripted. I don't I don't write scripts and I never will and I'm always going to always go from the hip. With all my broadcasts, it's me always going from the hip. So that's pretty much going to be the deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the program and we're going to go from the frost, whatever her damn name is, had to say. We're going to correct her. But you guys already know the gist of it, so we're going to go for the gist, and we're going to have fun with this, and we're going to pretty much get it from my perspective, not anything else. This is recording, I'm not, I'm not, I'm recording it, because for some reason I put this video up on YouTube, and it's not going to act right, and I'm just going to, it's not going to go right. So I'm going to record it, put it up on YouTube, and we'll go from there. But we're going to go for the video right now, so let's get to it happened and my gaming grievance was actually going to be about Red Dead Online. So the subreddit for Red Dead Online, I'm a huge Red Dead Online player. I love Red Dead Redemption 2. I, it's, uh, it's done. And what I think, I do think that there is a larger discussion about Red Dead Online. And Okay, now she would have kept the discussion to the Red Dead Online and stayed on project instead of freaking going on this soon to be tangent she's going on. There may be, maybe this would have been would have been no issue here because at the end of the day we would really be complaining because I mean like you're keeping it on you're keeping it on subject so in a few seconds she's going to go off the subject and it, it, it's disastrous after that so we'll keep going that we need to have eventually about game design versus immersive experience and comparing the Red Dead Online multiplayer experience versus the solo player one. But I actually want to talk about something so much more important than Red Dead Online. This is where she messed Sexism up. Sexism in gaming. In joining G4... <laughs> this is where she messed up. In, this is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have I'm no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I... Okay. Like I said, if she would have kept it on subject, instead of going on this tangent she's about to go on, G4 would not be going through the issues they're going through right now, which is losing subscribers, people are unsubscribing, and um, this girl right here would be probably getting the flack she's getting because I don't know too much about this woman. I know that she's a, I know that she's a lesbian, and from what she's always saying, she has a wife, so she's married to another female, and the gist of this sexual thing she's talking about, this the sexism in gaming, I don't get where she got that from. But let's continue. And oh, let me get oh, let me throw this guy at you. Let me throw this at you guys. Now, Gerard. I had I I he's completionist. I had no issue with that third guy, but I've been reading a lot of comments and a lot of people said, and I agree. Soon as she took it off subject, Gerard should have left. He should have walked off because now you just put his status in Japan in jeopardy. Because you want to go on this tangent. So, let's go, let's continue. I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. What? It's somehow... Talk to him, Frost! It has somehow... Okay. The simple to right or her or her left... As a fellow black man, don't ever do anything like that to fuck again, man. Don't ever do some dumb shit like you just fucking did, man. Get 
get the fuck off the shit you're on. You should be on the part of, okay, she should have went this route. She's talking about you, dumbass. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You're an embarrassment. You just embarrassed yourself right there as far as with black people, man. You're an embarrassment. You just embarrass your fucking self. And Gerard, both of y'all dumbasses, as soon as you're out in this town, you should have walked off. And be like, I don't want no part of this because you're not fucking up my career because you have some insecurities. Okay? Sip on the right or her left. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? The fuck is wrong with you? been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment that's it's w- oh let's get this let's get this other just gonna f- let's get this other no you're not bangable that's why you have a fucking wife you couldn't handle a dude that's why you had to go turn to a lesbian and go the fuck around of having to have a female you couldn't handle a dude that's why you dumbass married a woman frost if anything you just shit in your own argument because that shows you can't handle a fucking man. You, you, you couldn't handle somebody jerking off to you. Because you went and married a fucking female. So your back attached needs to shut the fuck up when it comes to that. You're backwards. You're nothing. You can't even handle a dude. That's the problem with y'all dumbass females when y'all go in this gay, this gay shit and this bi shit. Y'all, y'all fucking losers. Y'all couldn't handle real shit. Y'all get y'all little feelings hurt one time. And y'all decide to go, I'm going to be a lesbian. I'm going to be fucking gay. Fuck all y'all that dumb ass shit. Let's continue. You're not, of course you're not banging. Who want to bang you? As has been said, you like Justin Bieber. Before the money. The fuck is wrong with you? And then you coming up with the tattoos. And then you call yourself. And then you try so hard to look like a fucking dude. You're ridiculous. You're pathetic. You're what's wrong with women. You're what's wrong with women. You're dumb. Not a it's weird. It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not. And Adam, I don't believe you, man. When G4 was coming back, I was one of those suits that was happy for G4 to come back, going because fuck, I go, I every, I grew, I, I didn't grow. I was already, already, already an adult back then. I was like in my early 20s, but when you fall us on a gaming channel, a, a channel that was dedicated to gaming, dedicated to gaming, I loved every aspect of G4. I kept it on that channel 24-7. I go to work, G4. I come home, turn my TV on. Before the before we had the flash screens, but I had the CRT TVs or the tube TVs. G4 stayed on my turn on my turn channel on my third screen 24/7. And Adam, you ought to be ashamed of your goddamn self, man. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I understand the stuff that's been going on with Adam Sessler right now with his treat with his tweets and all of this stuff. But okay, and we all. I mean, he should have kept politics out of it. I agree. But that's his page. He can say whatever the hell he want. Long as he stick to the reviews, that's all that I care about. Stick to the reviews. Fuck your political stance. Stick to the reviews. That's what I was looking forward to when G4 was coming back. And X Play. And um, Attack of the Show. That's what I wanted to come back. I wanted reviews. I wanted G4. I wanted the gaming part of the channel to come back. And Adam, you fucking up, man. You fucking up big time, bro. Oh, I can't believe I just said that word, bro. I can't believe I just said that. You, you fucking up. Let's continue. Not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Uh, yes, they was. You're just not nice on the eyes with your fucked up teeth and your nose ring and your fucking ugly ass hair. Yes, Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb. Were there for the for the sexual clout? They looked it good. You just mad because you don't fall under that category, and you never fucking will. Grow the fuck up and grow as in your case, grow some fucking balls because because you're not because you're not wanted doesn't mean you gotta hate on them because they were. 
You're just mad because you're not wanted. That's all that was. That's what this whole rant is fucking about. Regardless of you not knowing what the fuck you was talking about when in the gaming world, you're not wanted. No man when I want to bang your stupid looking ass. Get your fucking front teeth fixed. Get them clean or something. They should not be looking that damn way. I understand we don't have everyone don't have them, the most perfect teeth, but get your head out your fucking ass. Put some females clothes on and stop trying to like a fucking dude. <laughs> Hey, no, y'all. She, and she ain't cooking nobody, you dumb fuck. Dude, you should be smacking your fucking mouth. You only, or you only oblige into that because this is your livelihood right now. But watching your livelihood, I doubt you be saying any of that dumb shit you just fucking said, man. Come on, man. You, come on, man. Don't be a sip. Do not be a fucking sip. And Gerard. Gerard, it's like, I don't know what the fuck I got into. I should, I should, he, he, he should have left. Gerard was like, I should have fucking left. That's just obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Just go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So we divide and conquer. Okay, I agree with that. But, I mean, that's part of, that's the gist of it. You're going to get one game. Gerard's gonna get one game. The simple on the right or the left of you is gonna get a game. Adam's gonna get a game. That's expected. That's that's part of being part of a show. It's delegated to everybody, not just one person. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself don't contribute to the reviews. We absolutely do. But it'll always be in varying degrees and take a whole team behind us. That's Duh. why we're X-Play and not Adam-Play. We have done the experiment and... Adam, stop clapping, man, because she's just shitting on you. She just shit on you big time. And you don't even fucking see it. I said this on oh, plenty of comments. She shit on Adam right there. And he just sitting there like a doof clapping. Adam, I love you, man. But you fucking up, man. You fucking up. She just shit on you big time, bro. And you just sat there and just accepted it like an asshole. Controlled for the variables. Adam will read a script written by the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for, but I'll be the one flamed. And yeah, it also happens. Maybe if you knew, maybe if you went from the hip like I'm doing right now, instead of relying on a script, maybe they will trust your word more. But you read it from a teleprompter. You read it from a script. It's not coming from here. It's not even coming from here. You're being told what to say. That's a difference. Me, I'm doing this from the hip. I'm not being told what to say. I don't read, I don't do scripts. I talk from the hip. I was sometimes say dumb shit, but at least you know I didn't make the shit up. Gerard and TBH, but that doesn't discount the TBH is a dumbass. Happens to me when it does. Both things can be true: that there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam, and that all receive special flame just. No, Adam, no, 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 it's not. Adam knows what he's talking about. You fucking don't. Adam has more years, more experience in the gaming industry than you do. See, because you get to know esports shit don't mean you on the same level as Adam. You never will be on the same page as Adam. So you know, just get your head out your fucking ass and realize that I don't fall. Or I will never be on Adam Cecilus level. You never fucking will. You never fucking will. Accept that. You're just a, in the G4 universe. You're just a noob. Accept your stance. You will never be on that level as Cecilus for being a woman and I wish I could turn the camera around so that you could see the incredible team that make X-Play half of our producers and writers are women Emily Abby Megan Joe Jake Zipper Gab okay you want a cookie 
That's great women are doing their part. It's about time y'all dumb asses do. Because we men, we put our asses out there and do a lot of shit more than what y'all fucking doing. Women need to get off the asses and start contributing to the world. Y'all need to do more shit than the fuck y'all doing. It's about time y'all doing some shit good. It goes on and on and on. Former writers that are now on ATOS like Vanessa. When you're in our DMs or on those YouTube comments or in Twitch chat right now, those reactionary threads thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how you previously did to Morgan. Uh, no. We're not even thinking about objecting you because you're not objectable. Get that free. You're not understanding. You're not getting it from your tattoo. Just no one's worried about you. If you're going to be on G4, you may as well know your shit. It's obvious you don't know your shit. So why would someone object somebody that don't know nothing? You're not objectable. You're not even a looker. I'm not even the best guy on the planet, but I know my. I know that I'm not being. I'm not being. You know, I'm not being objectified because I'm a man. Come on. Come on, miss. No, you're not on that level. You look, like I said, you like a fucking dude with a hoodie. Come on, hoodie. Like I said, clean those two front teeth in the front. Or get them pulled out. Or get them straightened. You look better. But that's by a long shot. That I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something? Uh, yes, you are, because you didn't know shit. You, you are less qualified. In Arab obsessed in the world, you're less qualified. Gerard, he's been a, he's a completionist. He knows his shit as well. I don't know who the sip is on the right. I don't know on or her left. I don't know who the fuck he is. He must he must have won the cons. He must have won the host contest just for whatever the fuck he do. I don't know what the fuck he does. But nah, he, he's a sip. He, he he ought to be ashamed of himself for the shit for him just being on her side. Saying that she's destroying her face. She's destroying her fucking career on G4. Now she's destroying G4. Come back. So this lady need to get off her ass. She don't know what the fuck she's talking about. But you can't quite put your finger on why. Even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam. But you have no problem with he's part of it. Yeah, because um, before this bush is going on, Adam's, Adam's knowledgeable. You're not. Adam probably, if it came to, he probably even wouldn't even need a script. That's how knowledgeable Adam is. He probably would destroy the show without the script. He would kill. His, he, he's, he, he, he's, he's, the, he's the go-to game journalist. He's been in the game longer than you. That's what you're not understanding. He's only doing it by a script because he, that's, the, that's the gist of the show. He probably wouldn't need a script. I thought he would need a script. He probably can just go freehanded or, or from the hip like I'm doing right now. He probably don't need no damn script. You're letting your unconscious biases ruin my day. Uh, no one's being unconscious. It's just you're being, you're being unconscious. You can't, you can't handle the heat. You step in the kitchen, you got all this heat. You can't handle it. You can't handle the real shit. That's all it is to it. You're just mad because you just got called. You they was calling you out on your bullshit. No one's unconscious. No one's being biased. I have no thoughts in my mind. No one's being biased towards you. It's just you causing the bias yourself by not knowing what the fuck you're talking about. That's your fault, shorty. And you're gatekeeping the gaming space. So maybe for 2022, we'd be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. Okay. With that being said, this is almost the end of the video. Well, y'all, like I said, you dug your own grave. A lot of people are now unsubscribed from G4 because of your dumb rant. You should have kept that shit in the closet. Just like you, just like this whole lesbian thing, you should have stayed in the closet. You're like a clown, you're a clown, you're a dumb clown, I'm sorry to say this, but you're a clown, honey. You're trying so hard to be a dude, and you're, you're failing at that. <laughs> yeah! Then look at our body language. Look at our body language. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look, look at that. Look at that. Boy, 
if she once that camera start once that camera start rolling and go in the bathroom and start crying, I said that like a, a little start acting like a girl that she don't want to be seen as when that bathroom started crying. <laughs> they don't like me because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just a stupid dumb female trying to be a dude. Oh no, it's me. It's not them. It's me. Nah, shorty, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You look, why don't you just, you like you about to cry? Let's, let's finish this video and I'm gonna end this video. Uh, I just can't believe. Uh, uh, I just can't believe the gist of it. I, I, will, not, I will never believe this. I will never believe it. G4 has just ruined itself. As much as I was looking forward to G4 coming back like everybody was. I mean, yes, it was not going to be the same. I understand that. But at the end of the day, it could have been better. This way it shouldn't have never took place. We, G4 would still be probably gaining followers and subscribers. But no, they had to do this shit. They had to do it. Sorry to say, but G4 has dug their own grave. It's a shame. Adam. Sessler. If I were you, you need to get rid of Frost as soon as possible. Do not stand behind her any longer than you have to. Yes, G4 has been standing behind her. But no, y'all need to know. If you want to salvage G4, you have to get rid of her. Sexism is not should not be in any game. Or any show. Take that real shit someplace else. Her whole stance you should saw before hiring her was 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 legitimately wrong. Let her go back to esports. She she just she does not deserve the fame. She does not deserve the spotlight. So you you guys gotta get rid of her. This is a shame. Like I said, I was looking forward to G4 coming back. And now, like, he's going to go right back to where, where it was at. In the garbage. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, G4. I'm disappointed. Sassler, I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm really disappointed in Gerard. I, I mean, I love that guy. I mean, I love the completionist. I don't care if people say he's been cheating and anything. I don't care. He, he, he gave out good shit. Good content. Just... Th wherever he is, he needs to he needs to go back to where the hell he is, cause he's he's a simp. In the way of hell, black dude will be agreeing with that, with her or it. Yeah, I probably get some flack on this video too, but I'm, I'm always gonna speak the truth. The Sarge is gonna speak the truth. You don't care about y'all feelings and nothing like that at all. If y'all got feelings, then that's who y'all. But always speak the truth. But everybody, I hope this video gets some traction. Um, I, I'll leave that for the um, I'll leave that for the that work podcast. But for now, this is Sergeant Wax. Salute. Enjoy the video. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Whatever you want. Let's put the channel. I hope you guys love this channel. I hope this video will give me some volume, some followers. I know I'm probably saying some crazy stuff, but hey, that's how I feel. I'm always going to be real with it. So if you don't like it, that's all you guys. Peace out.